Sun.com. Today I'll show you how to use the flower stitch foot. With this foot you can sew circles. Small circles from quarter of an inch to circles from one inch in size. If you use different stitches and different colors or maybe a twin needle, the little circles will look like flowers. You can use this foot on any low shank machine. It's a screw on foot and most domestic machines are low shank so big chance you will be able to use this foot. I'll show you how. Raise your needle to its highest position and remove your standard presser foot and the presser foot holder. So screw off the entire foot, not just the snap-on part. This is the flower foot. The flower foot has a large ring base, a driver arm on the right and a foot clamp to attach the foot onto your presser bar. The adjustment screw on the back left allows you to slide the base from left to right to make circles in various sizes. You move towards the minus sign or the plus sign to make smaller or bigger circles. To attach the flower foot, slide the foot clamp around the presser bar and around the presser foot screw. Make sure to place the driver arm above the needle holder. Now securely tighten the presser foot screw. Make sure to test your needle with your hand wheel. To resume, the driver arm sits above the needle holder. The clamp of the flower stitch foot goes around the presser bar screw. This is the adjustment screw to choose the size of the circles. You see the minus and the plus sign here. Now let's try to stitch some flowers. Lower your feet dogs because the flower stitch foot does the transportation of your fabric. Set your stitch length to zero and reduce the upper thread to a looser setting. Bring your bobbin thread up to the top. Now you can start stitching. Don't use too complex stitches at the beginning. Try the zigzag stitch, maybe overlock stitch, blind hand stitch, the serpentine stitch and just continue until you have a circle. To lock your threads with your machine, set your machine to a straight stitch. Then with the tip of a screwdriver, raise the latch that drives the base of the foot and stitch in place for four to five stitches. If you want to stitch two circles for one flower, don't move your fabric. It is very, very difficult to find the center if you do. Just loosen the screw, move the base of the flower foot to the plus or minus sign and tighten the screw again. If you want to change the color of your upper thread, try to do so without moving the fabric. Take the time to play with your foot on different scraps to, to get used to it and see what result you get with different stitches. It's best to use stabilizer for most fabrics and you can use all-purpose thread or machine embroidery threads. That's it. I hope my video helped you and you can start using the flower stitch foot on your own and if you want to see what I made with it, just watch my next video. See ya!